I've seen it with my own eyes. Uqsum billah, he will come on the member. He will curse Abu Huraira, curse Abu Bakr Siddiq, curse Umar, curse Aisha. And he will cry with khushu'ah. And they will all cry with him. They seek nearness to Allah by cursing the Sahaba, calling them all kuffar except six. Or a few number that they believe remain Muslims. Then they claim all the other Muslims, they became kuffar. A'udhu billah. You must be crazy. And the Prophet said, if I was to take a close friend among the people, it would be Abu Bakr. But verily, it is only Allah. If I was to take one among the humans, it would be Abu Bakr. And we know the virtue of Abu Bakr. You come and call him a kafir. Anyways, a Jew is who started the Shia, his name is Abdullah ibn Saba. And he entered into, into Islam with the intention to, to glorify the Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Prophet So Ali was a relative of the Prophet so he, so he raised him above his status. Uh, in order to destroy the religion of Islam upon its people. كما قال ذلك شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله as it was mentioned by the Sheikh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah Allah mercy on him وقال إن هذا صنع إن هذا صنع كما صنع بولس حين دخل في دين النصارى ليفسد دين النصارى الله أكبر he said very this man Abdullah ibn Saba did the same thing that Paul Saint Paul did to the Christians when he entered into Christianity in order to ruin the religion of Christianity he was also a Jew his name was Saul this is for you if you ever involved in da'wah with the Christians. His name was Saul. He pretended that he converted to Christianity, named himself Paul. And then he's the one who came up with Trinity. He's the one who came up with the divinity of Jesus. He's the one who came up with the salvation through Jesus dying on the cross. All these were introduced by this guy Paul who was originally a Jew. And in Islam there was Abdullah ibn Sabah who entered into Islam in order to destroy Islam through the same methodology. Through Shia. So it's much more serious than what we think. So, هذا الرجل عبد الله بن سبا قال لعيد أبي طالب أنت الله حقا this man عبد الله تود علي you are Allah in truth. وعلي بن طالب لا يرضى أن لا يرضى أن أحد ينزله فوق منزلته هو حتى إنه رضي الله عنه من إنصافه وعدله وعلمه وخبرته كما يقول على من بركوف خير هذه الأمة بعد نبيها أبو بكر ثم عمر. He said, and verily Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, will not be satisfied that anyone will give him a position above the one that he deserves, above his real position, which is the servant of Allah. And because of his extreme justice and fairness and his knowledge and his experience, he would say on the minbar, when he would give the khutbah in Al-Kufa, he would say, verily, the best of this nation after its messenger is, Umar, is, is Abu Bakr, then Umar. Ali himself. Ali himself used to say that. Now you tell this to the Shia, it will come from this year and go from this one. They don't want to keep it inside. They will reject it. They say, no, no, this is not a hadith. Although this has been established that he used to say that. Because if he said that, then that will, ref- that will destroy their whole religion. Anyways, يُعْلِنُ ذَلِكَ فِي الْخُطْبَةِ And now in this during the khutbah. وَقَدْ تَوَاتَرَ النَّقْلُ عَنْهُ بِذَلِكَ رَضِ الْعَنْهُ Tawatur, they say a hadith mutawatir is one, if I remember correctly, one more than ten companions, when it has been re- received from more than one ten narrators. Hmm. Yani, when you say hadith mutawatir, meaning there is no doubt in its authenticity. Because so many different people have narrated the same hadith. So this particular statement of Ali has been narrated by a large number of companions for a long time. Tawatur, mutawatir. Yeah, the hadith mutawatir. Meaning, so many people narrated this hadith that no way all of them are going to make a mistake. You understand what I'm saying? Authentic. Yeah, you are. وَالَّذِي يَقُولُ هَكَذَا وَيَقُرُّ بِالْفَضْلِ لِأَهْلِهِ مِنَ الْبَشَرِ كَيْفَ يَرْضَى أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ قَائِلْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ اللَّهِ And the one who says this, and he admits about the virtue of the people among the, of the humans among the people, like Abu Bakr, he would admit the virtue of Abu Bakr and the virtue of, Abu, Abu, uh, of Umar, how would we accept that a person tells him, you are Allah in truth? Mm. This is why he, uh, he punished them in the most severe punishment. He called for uh, trenches, for trenches to be built, then he, he commanded that they get some wood, then they lit the wood, then he threw them in there. And he burnt them. 
And the Sheikh said, لأن فريتهم عظيمة والعياذ والعياذ بالله وليس تهينة. Because their claim was outrageous. We seek refuge in Allah. It wasn't something simple. It wasn't a minor innovation. This is someone telling a, a human being, you are Allah in truth. نسأل الله العافية. ويقال إن عبد الله بن سبع هرب ولا يم يمسك يم يمسكه. And it was said that this guy, عبد الله بن سبع, who started the whole thing, was able to escape. And they, never, they did not catch him. المهم, he says the important thing, أن علي بن أبي طالب, أن علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه أحرق السبع السبعية بالنار. لأنهم ادعوا فيه الألوهية. The important thing is Ali, may Allah have mercy on him, and may Allah be pleased with him, he burnt them. Uh, the Sabaiya, those who, they were called Sabaiya because Abdullah ibn Sabah. Aywa. This is very common that yeah, according to a man, the group will be called after him. Right. So, like what? Muhammad ibn Wahab, they call him Wahhabis. This is also uh, from the misguidance of these people. Fala called because Muhammad ibn Wahab rahimahullah was a shaykh who established the Tawheed after people started worshipping graves besides Allah. That those who love to worship the graves, they give bad titles about Sheikh Muhammad ibn Wahab to scare the people away. If read his book, it's Qala Allah Qala Rasul. Allah said, the messenger said, don't worship none but Allah. Allah is the only true God. Don't seek no uh, help from someone in the grave and so forth. But in other countries, they have a very bad advertisement against him in order to keep the people away from that. So anytime you say, La ilaha illallah and you deal with Tawheed, you say, you Wahhabi, you Wahhabi. Especially if you go back home. They don't want to hear that stuff. They want to go to the grave of Mawlana, I don't know, Farfur Farafiri, so they could ask him for chicken and, and rice. Yeah, Sufiya and anyone else. Allah Musta'an. Anywho, the Shaykh said, فَنَقُولْ كُلُّ مَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقِبْلَةِ لَا يُنْكِرُونَ هَذَيْنِ نَوْعَيْنِ مِنَ التَّوْحِيدِ وَهُمَا تَوْحِيدُ الْرُبُوبِيَّةِ وَتَوْحِيدُ الْلُهِيَّةِ وَإِنْ كَانَ يُوْجَدُ مِنْ بَعْضِ أَهْلِ الْبِدْعِ مَنْ يُؤَلِّهِ أَحَدًا مِنَ الْبَشَرِ So we say, uh, all those who turn towards the Qibla, and all those who are Muslims, they do not deny the two kinds of Tawheed, Rububiyya and Uluhiyya. Uh, even though there may be some among the people of innovation who claim that someone else is a God. Like also the uh, Ahmadiyya, who said that the Ghulam Ahmad was also uh, a prophet, prophet, and some of them said that he was God. In America, the Nation of Islam, the group of na- Nation of Islam, they said that their, uh, what was his name? Elijah. Elijah Muhammad, they said that he was a God, and he lives in a spaceship. Some crazy stuff, you heard that? Uh, Allah musta'an. Anyways. لكن الذي كثر فيه النزاع بين أهل القبلة هو القسم الثالث وهو توحيد الأسماء والصفات. He said, but really the thing that there's a lot of dispute and difference about يعني regarding within the Muslims is the third kind of Tawheed, the Tawheed of the names and the attributes of Allah. This is where we clash. We agree Allah is the only creator, we agree that only Allah deserves worship. When it comes to the Asma and Sifat, the names and attributes of Allah, you will find the Muslims in many different sects and many different deviations. They will vary and this book is, all of this book is to deal just with that. To remove the misconception from your mind. So you will understand who Allah is. According to what Allah said in the Quran. According to what the Prophet ﷺ described Allah with in the Sunnah. And according to the understanding of the companions and the first three generations of Muslims. Very fundamental. Because not everybody could read and understand properly. But it was those who were closer to the Prophet ﷺ who were with him. Who could have asked him. But there were things that they never asked about because they understood them. So then the people wanted to go into detail trying to explain things about Allah that they don't need to go there. And they started speaking about Allah with that knowledge. And they started denying the attributes of Allah or adding or, or, or uh, comparing Him to His creation. Why? Because there were things that were mentioned that the Sahaba never questioned about. Like, Al-Rahman wa ala al-Arsh istawa, thumma istawa ala arsh Allah rose above the throne. All you need to do is know that Allah rose above the throne. You don't need to think how, you don't need to imagine the method, and you have no idea what it is like. Why? There's nothing like Allah. Nothing. You cannot, possibly. But the innovators could not be satisfied. That's why one of them came to Imam Malik. You know Imam Malik, Imam Darul Hijra, one of the four Imma that followed. And he was given a class in the masjid, and a man came to him, he said, How did Allah rise above his throne? (laughs) <laughs> so Imam Malik, from the severity of the question, he put his head down and started sweating. They seen sweat started to form on his forehead. Then he raised his head and he said, Al-Istiwa'u ma'loom. The word istiwa, which is rising above, 
is known in the Arabic language. We know what it means. It is resting above something, rising above something. This is what istiwa means in Arabic. Wal kaifu majhul. How is unknown? Wal imanu bihi wajib. And for you to believe in it is an obligation. It's compulsory because Allah said it in the Quran. Was su'alu anhu bid'a. And to ask about it is an innovation. And I see you as nothing but an innovator. And he commanded that he will be thrown out of the masjid. Because he came to ruin the minds of the people. People were fine to believe Allah is above his throne. Done deal. Close the door. You want to open it and say how and not how. You're going to fall into things that you should not be discussing. Because Allah taught us principle. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There is nothing like Allah. لَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ There is no equal to Allah. And all the verses that we will be dealing with in this book insha'Allah. Azza wa Jal. Tayyip. هذا هو الذي كثر كثر فيه الخوض فانقسم الناس فيه إلى ثلاثة أقسام وهم ممثل ومعطل ومعتدل والمعطل إما مكذب أو محرف. he says this is where the dispute arises arose between the Muslims and the people are divided into three categories regarding the names and attributes of Allah. if you want to write that down the people are divided into three categories regarding the names and attributes of Allah. number one ممثل Mumathil is someone who uh, makes, Allah, make, uh, makes Allah's names and attributes similar to His creation. Compares Allah to His creation. Okay? Mumathil. You need a pen? I have a red one. Yeah, good. So Mumathil, someone who compares Allah to His creation. This is his issue. These are among the Muslims. The second category is Mu'attil. Mu'attil is someone who denies the names and attributes of Allah. Someone who denies the names and attributes. They reject them. We will see who. They will say you cannot say that Allah is merciful. And you cannot say that Allah is such and such. You will see, you will hear some crazy things about, may Allah forgive us, about the Muslims. Thirdly, Mu'tadil, someone who is uh, just or correct. Yani not here, not there. Which is inshallah what we intend on being. Which is the aqeed of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Correct. <laughs> the people of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The creed, the pure creed. From the time of the Prophet Sallallahu until today. And it will be until the day of judgment. Because the Prophet Sallallahu promised in the hadith that they will remain a group of more my nation upon the truth. So there's no way that there will be so much innovation that people don't know the truth anymore. No way. Otherwise, that, Allah, that means that Allah did not preserve Islam. Right? Allah preserved Islam. There will always be a group of people among the truth. They have signs. They have indications. It, this is the fulfillment of the promise of Allah Azza wa to preserve this Islam. So they will remain under the day of judgment. They are Ahl Sunnah al-Jama'ah. And not anyone who claims Ahl Sunnah al-Jama'ah. We will see because some of the innovators also claim to be among Ahl Sunnah al-Jama'ah. He said, well, Mu'attil, the one who denies, is one of two. Either a Mukadhib, from the word Kadhib, a liar, a beliar, or Muharrif, or someone who uh, misinterprets the meaning. He changes the meaning. Yani he will play with the words, as the Jews used to do. This is their thing. They will play with the words in the Torah in order to misguide the people and give them information other than the one Allah Azza wa revealed. وَأَوَّلُ بِدْعَةٍ حَدَثَتْ فِي هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ هِيَ بِدْعَةُ الْخَوَارِجِ The Shaykh, may Allah mercy him, said, and, really <coughs> and the first innovation that was introduced in this nation is the innovation of the khawarij. Khawarij, uh, well, we will see what the Shaykh says. لِأَنَّ زَعِيمَهُمْ خَرَجَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ Because their leader, he went against the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. خَرَجْ يعني he, go, he went out. And they say Khuruj is going out. But what is intended here? Khuruj. Aywa, one second please. <laughs> so, uh, so Khuruj to go out. What is intended here though, the term here, when it, whenever it's used in a certain context, then the meaning changes. Tayyip. So when you, the Khawarij, what is intended are those who go against the Hukam. Those who go against the leaders. This is what we intend by Khawarij. Those who go out against the Hukam, the leaders of the Muslims, by causing fitna and trying to spill blood and try to remove them from, from the leadership and take it over and what have you, using means other than the Quran and the Sunnah. 
We will see with them. He said, وَهُوَ ذُو الْخُوَيْسِرَ مِنْ بَنِي تَمِيمِ حين قصر